Hello, welcome back to the Snake Pit. I realise that loading into OBS is probably not what you expected, but I'm going to be showing you how to launch a old game on modern hardware. Now this is a game from 1998 and it is Jeff Wayne's War of the Worlds. Um, back at the time, uh, this game wasn't very well received as it was considered a bit rushed. However these days it does have uh, quite a cult following that a lot of people enjoy. Um, now I've not seen any video tutorials anywhere um, about getting it running on modern hardware so I thought I would do one myself and I'd show you guys how to get this really great game working um, it does come with a few caveats um, there are a few things you need to download um, I've obviously done this myself they are completely safe no harm will come to your computer or anything um, my antivirus didn't pick up any problems or anything like that so I've scanned everything um, the links to everything that you need to download I'm going to put into the description below the video so let's get started on this okay so first thing you're gonna need is to head over to uh, myabandonware.com and find the game just typing it into Google is enough to get this to come up anyway then you click the download button and you'll be taken down to the bottom of the page uh, so you want to download the ISO version here which is 1.2 gig um, it will be quite slow because it's a free download it only does it at about 500 kilobytes I think so it will take you a while to download but download that then you want to head over to this post here again link in the description and just click wow patch and download it again this is completely safe it's not going to bring any harm to your system then DXGL you want to do Windows installer here which is a little bit down the page download this and download this and then you'll need to head over to Demon Tools like light just click the free version that's all you need with this um, and you shouldn't have any issues I haven't experienced any okay so when all of those are downloaded you'll have them in your obviously your download section here or wherever it is that you happen to download things off the internet um, so the first thing you want to do is extract the Jeff the uh, ISO version zip up here and you'll come to this page here now you won't be able to do anything with these to begin with but once that's done this is ready to be used okay so then install um, Demon Tools Lite when you've done that you'll um, be opened up with this this page here so it might automatically already do it for you if it has you'll see um, some here a, a, a drive letter that will say empty drive if it's already done it for you that's cool but if it hasn't I'll obviously show you how to do it now so you click drives add drive and it will give you the letter which will be the one after the um, last drive you've got so uh, I've got three drives on this computer C, D and E so it's giving me F so you just add the drive there then you just left click on the drive and you'll have to locate to where you extracted the War of the Worlds um, files to and the way the game used to work is that you installed the game off the human CD and played the human campaign off of that CD and if you wanted to play the Martian campaign then you'd put that CD in and then you could load up the game as normal and play the Martian campaign okay so what you want to mount is the .q file for human CD1 not the bin the .q file okay so mount it left click it again and it'll open up now I've already got the game installed on my computer so this will look different from you for you so these two options here will be greyed out and it will say where it says uninstall for me it will say install so just go ahead click that and install the game now 
there might be an issue with installing that where you've clicked the install button and the setup doesn't seem to run. If it doesn't run for you, you'll need to go into your task manager. Okay, so if you don't know how to do that, just right click on your taskbar and go to task manager and you'll obviously be grant this will come up. If you go to the details page and head down to the S's and you want to look for so somewhere here will be setup.exe so you'll want to right click so this service is exe here imagine this was setup.exe you'd right click it and you go analyze weight chain now there's obviously nothing stopping services exe from running so there's nothing here but for setup.exe it will be different if it's not running for you it will say setup.exe and then underneath it will be the things that are stopping it from running and they'll have little um, I think they had little uh, tick boxes next to them so you just tick those things and end the processes give it a few seconds and the setup will spring to life and you can just install the game as normal as you would any other program on your system Okay. so once you've set up and installed it you've pretty much done the hard stuff now and you're basically there and able to run it so this is it installed um, you won't have these wow patched or these files here in it because these come from the uh, another thing you downloaded but it will look something like this so go back to downloads and extract the wow patch.zip and you'll come with this so select all of those and copy them into your install your install location here okay so you now have three exes you'll have wow exe wow patched and wow start okay with that done head back to your downloads and install dxgl once it's in, it's not a very big program at all it doesn't take up any space it's completely fine once it's installed it does have an option for auto running if it auto runs you'll just be popped up with this now this all looks very very confusing but the good thing is that you don't have to change anything just leave it like it pops itself up as okay so in order to use this with the game just go add see it, lo it already loads up to the correct folder for me because I've already done this but for you you'll have to locate it again and what you want to do is so we'll just do it with this one there see a profile already exists because I've already done it but for you you do wow exe and then it, uh, it it appears in this bar here and then you do apply and OK um, you have to do each file separately so you do add wow apply add wow patch apply add wow start apply um, obviously if it closes after each exe then you just have to open up the program and do it again but it, it, it works it's completely fine um, and with that done you're completely fine um, now because I play this game quite a lot I've put um, I've added this wow patched to my start menu so we add it from here so we click this it might take a few seconds to launch because it's it sorts itself out but it will launch and it might be a bit loud so sorry about that but it's an old game <laughs> No one would have believed in the last years of the 19th century that Okay, so I'll just skip that. Um, but as you can see, it works, you get to the main menu. Now, one of the main problems that a lot of people face trying to get this game working now is that they can never get the CD music working. But with this method I've just shown you, So 
see that all the CD music is working absolutely fine. So if you want to get the Martian version of the game working, uh, load up your Damien Tools Lite again, or you can do it from the right click menu down here. In fact I'll do that from down here just to show you. So if you want to change from down in your system tray, right click Demon Tools, mouse over virtual devices and you'll see the drive here with what's mounted on it, so it's wow human at the moment. So just mouse over that and then click mount and it will load up this again. You want the wow martian cd2.q file, remember it's the q file you want not the bin. Do that. There you go, it's mounted it successfully. And we shall launch it again. Again, sorry for the volume if it's a bit loud, it is an old game. Volumes can be a bit hard to manage. Okay. See, so this is the Martian version of the game. With its own music tracks. Okay, so that is the game from 1998 running on modern hardware. Um, I hope this helps you get it working. Um, if you did get it working, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. So please leave a comment. Feel free to subscribe and like. It really helps the channel because I really want to push for growth this year. I really want to hit that monetization goal. And I hope you have fun beating back the aliens or destroying the puny humans and most importantly take care and I shall see you next time.